Today, let's learn how to bake two individual height maps from a single shader node setup. Hey, so this one is going to be a quick carry on from the last installment of this course, where I'm going to show you how to bake two individual height maps to get a slightly more accurate bump result. So I'll left click my first brick one, which we made last time, and then I'll press view and then choose frame all. And this creates some new textures. It's getting a bit messy here, so I might actually just left click and drag and just delete all of these pressing X because we have them all saved anyway on our computer and I'll press shift A and then under texture I'm going to choose image texture then I'm going to press plus new and this one I'm going to call height brick only brick 2k it's a bit of a complex name but that's just to help me understand what this does so by brick only what I mean is that it's going to be just the brick and mortar bump whereas the other one is going to be more like the extra details so now I've done that I'm going to press new image we're going to keep our bake settings here on emit and we also have our render max sample set to 10 since we don't need many samples then i'll go into my node tree here and now what we're going to do is you can see i've got my a and b socket so if you remember last time a is just the input from this one here so you can see i can just plug this noise texture straight into my color emission like that and this one is going to be for extra details but if you remember we created a texture for the brick only first so we're actually going to need to use the other one so we're going to get the B socket. So the B socket is this brick texture here. So I can plug that into my color instead. Awesome. But there's one small problem. If you look here, you can see that I've got this invert box checked, which means we're going to need to use an invert node. I'm just going to left click and drag these two nodes and delete them. Since we used them last time, we don't need them now. And then I'm going to press shift A and then under color, I'm going to choose invert color and I'll just plug it in between here and that's going to invert that input. One thing you will want to make sure as well is that your strength is set to one. It's always important to double check that if your bake isn't working. So I'll press this arrow again to come back. Left click my height only brick 2k texture. Make sure I have my object selected in here and then I can just go ahead and press bake. Awesome and now it's finished you can see we have our brick only here and you can see there's none of the other imperfections it's just this brick bump on its own which is just what we're wanting. So let's go ahead and now create the second bump which will be the imperfections one. So I'll just press shift D with this texture selected to duplicate it and I'll then press this X to remove it and then I'll press plus new and this time I'm going to call it height brick imperfection brick 2k. So a nice descriptive name. If you want to keep your name shorter, you certainly can. It's totally up to you. And I'm just going to go ahead and press new image. And I'll change my color space to non-color. As I accidentally forgot to do it on the last one. But don't worry, I'll put a reminder in the video to let you know to do that. And also, we need to save our other texture. So this height brick only brick 2k. I'm just going to left click image and then choose save. I'll come to my file browser here. And I'm just going to press save as image in here. And then I'm going to come back to my height brick imperfection. And I'll open up my node tree here. And now we're going to want to plug in our noise texture bump here. So this one doesn't need inverted because you can see the invert box isn't checked. So I can just simply drag that factor into the color and then I can press this up button here. Make sure I have my height brick imperfection selected. Make sure it's the right one. Make sure I've got my object selected. And then I can just go ahead and press bake again. And you can see we now have just our imperfection baked here. Then I'll press image and then save. And in my texture locations, I can just press save as image. And now we have all of our brick height textures saved. Then we need to fix our shader here. So I can come back into my node tree and I'm just going to unplug everything from the emission socket. And you can see that's turned everything back to normal. I'll press the up arrow and I'm going to left click my texture baked object and I'll press view and then frame all to come back to my nodes. And you can see last time we just used one height texture for this but this time we're going to be using two so first of all i'll add a new texture so i'll press shift a and then under texture i'll choose image texture and i'm going to choose my imperfection first so i'll choose the imperfection and i'll plug my vector into the uv of our texture coordinate so it's using our uv maps texture coordinates then I'll press shift A and then under vector, I'll choose bump and I'll plug our color into the height and we'll make sure our color space is on non-color. And then I'm going to plug my normal into the normal. You can see right now, all that's going to do is just use the imperfection on its own at max strength. So we need to combine it with the other one. Thankfully to do that, it's very simple. I'm just going to left click and drag some of these nodes just to kind of move them out of the way. So I'll left click to select them and I'll maybe shift select some of the stragglers here and I'll press G just to move them along. And I'm going to move these nodes along here. I'll just left click this image texture here, this height brick imperfection, and I'll press shift D to duplicate it. 
and I'm going to choose my other height texture. So I'll click the drop down or you can click the open button and choose it from the file browser. And I'll choose my only brick height. Plug this vector into my UV texture coordinates. And now to combine it, we're going to need another bump node. So I'll left click this bump node and press Shift D to duplicate it. And I'll plug my color into the height. And now to combine them, it's really simple. You just plug this normal into the normal of the other one. And that's just going to allow you to easily add them on top of each other. You can see how that's added them on top of each other nicely like that. And right now it's looking really detailed. And that's because I've actually used a different strength for each of these in the original shader. So I'll left click this original shader so we can use it as a reference. I'll press view and then frame all. If I zoom into this parameter called extra bump strength and brick bump strength. So as you might imagine, brick bump strength is the brick only texture we made. So I'm just going to set that one to 0.5. So I'll left click my baked brick, come to view and then frame all. And we're looking for the only brick and that was going to be 0.5. Then for the other one, I think I used something much lower. So I'll left click this one here, view and then frame all. Zoom in and the extra bump strength I used for this one was 0.07, so quite small. So I'll left click this baked brick again, come to view, frame all. And then in my bump strength for the imperfection, I'll choose 0.07. And now it's using the exact same settings using textures. And you will notice that even though these two are combined, the strength of this one will not affect the strength of this bump here, which is quite a nice feature that Blender has. Think of it as more this normal is being stored in here and then outputted here. So it won't be affected by any of these bump settings which allows us to add bump nodes really easily. And yeah, that just about covers it. I thought I would cover how to do that if you want a little bit more control over your height maps so you can get a little bit more detail than your normal or your combined bump map. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to share your thoughts in the community. But apart from that, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this installment in the course and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Music